Hi, I'm Shaylee. And I'm Jen. We are passionately co-creating space of love and light. Please join us weekly as we talk all things life. From From our couch couch to yours. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good. Um, Just for everyone on the podcast, Shaylee, cut her hair. Yeah, Isn't which I think is like really cute. So was. I was out with a girlfriend that day and you texted me the photo and I was like, that is when you were like, Hayden, it was Hayden, yeah. right? Yeah. Hayden, she, you're like, when Hayden helped me and I was like, that is like really cute. Yeah, and she really wanted to and I was like, girl, God, this is like my bangs, okay? Yeah. This is bangs. This is <laughs> going so terribly wrong. But I just put my trust in her and I had to like help a little and like, Whatever, but she did really good. She did really good. Honestly, she's like, Mom, I think I could be a hairdresser. And I'm like, you can be whatever you want to be, girl. <laughs> right? I she Honestly, was, I don't know if I would trust anyone to cut my hair. So you are one bangs. great. Oh, yeah. Right? right? Yeah, they're in your face. Yeah, and she's talking about in job. my face, they are in my face. So I've had bangs twice in the past, like at different times. Loved them for a season, but I remember why I grew them out. Yeah. So when I did these, I was like, oh, cute. Like, there's some style, whatever. And I like, because I put my hair up a lot, especially working. And then it always just seems so, like, I don't know. I thought it would give it some style, right? And so I like it, but I remember very quickly that feeling of it on your face. Like, day one, it was all straightened. It was great. Day two, because I don't wash my hair every single day. My bangs were kind of like, they were still falling, but they were falling different. So when I was sitting doing nails and I was like, get them off my face. <laughs> like I just couldn't. And then for about two or three days, I wore them to the side because they triple barreled my yeah. hair, which I always do. And then you can't, I don't think you could have straight bangs and then triple barrel hair. Like that would look weird, right? Oh, I can't right? picture it. Yeah. No, so I had to like kind of tuck them to the side. So then it was like I didn't have bangs for a few days. And then today I had washed my hair, so I did bangs again. Yeah. And it's like, it's okay when I'm just sitting here, but like working, it is a little hard. Like, I, I don't know. I like it. Yeah. But also my hair seems so much darker now because I don't know if you remember when I, everyone's been asking oh, if I dyed my hair. Yeah. They're like, oh, you went dark. I'm like, no, I haven't touched my hair since the summer. But a lot of my front pieces are blonde. Well, yeah. I just cut off that. You're right. Blonde, okay. I, right? Didn't, I didn't notice that, but now that you say yeah. that. So now it seems like darker too. So it's like a whole new style. But On the bright side, things. your hair grows so fast. Yeah. Like it's not like if I chop mine off, well, I did chop mine yeah. off and it only is growing. So like at first yeah. I was like, wow, it's growing really fast. And, I, and then I looked back and I was like, oh, I cut it last February. Yeah. <laughs> it's already yeah. been a year. Like, it does. Just because time feels like. Yeah. Um, but did you have to have a few drinks? To, no, to, not, to I didn't have any drinks. Really? No. No, no. Wow. No. And funny enough, like. The reason that we did it is like a couple days prior, I found a couple pictures on Pinterest and it was a girl with her hair back yeah. and then bangs. And I was like, see, that's like style when your hair is back. Yeah. And I showed Hayden the photo. She's like, let's do it right now. And I'm like, okay. And then that's how it happened. <laughs> um, don't you love when you're in the season of just saying, okay, and yeah. not overthinking it. Do you yeah. remember we've had that conversation yeah. about how March is usually my, yeah. um, go get it. Like don't yeah. overthink anything. And then, um, I was thinking about it. Okay. So the other day I got an email from the manifestation girl and she wanted me to, it's like, Oh, apply to be on the podcast. And I'm like, it was like, okay, that's like a dream. Might I add, I probably shit myself, <laughs> but I was like, I'm just going to, I know I'm not going to get in like, because since then I haven't had these huge, huge changes. I feel like it's been very slow, but that's kind of what I've needed for myself. And so I was like, what, what, like, what great can I say that I've done so far? But anyways, I was like, I'm going to apply just because it scares the shit out of me. And it, one of the questions was like, what made you sign up for MBA? And I was like, I remembered that feeling of when I discovered her and I like just chose to do it. It was like, I didn't even think about it. I heard it on the podcast. I didn't know the price. And I told myself I am doing this Yeah. no matter what. And you're right, it is seasons, because there's times I would never, I would think about cutting my hair forever and never do it, right? Yeah. But there's like a moment where, and I have, yeah. I have been in a season of like, just do yeah. this last, this And you know what, I like that, that. I, I like that season of just do yeah. so much better than the season of holding back and yeah. like questioning it all the time, but it's like you almost can't control when you're in that season yeah. with everything. Those decisions just seem so much harder. Right. I was even thinking about that, like when I, I've always like journaled or like on and off, but, or do my workbooks or whatever. And right now I'm doing the one I did right with like the the same questions every day they have to do. 
And I was like, that would look, that's going to be cool to look back over a year because right now the season I'm in, yeah. I'm actually not finding those questions really hard. But the reason I created this book is because those questions those are, are hard for me yeah. but right now. Cause I am in this season. Yeah. It's almost like, Oh, I got this. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I'm writing this and whatever. But like, it will be, I wonder when that fizzles out like as yeah. those seasons change and then it'll look cool. It'll be cool to look back at a whole year and be like, Oh, mm -hmm. like interesting how you answered things. Yeah. Because like it is true. It is. It does come yeah. in waves. Yeah, it does. Huh. I never yeah. even thought about that with my hair. Like it makes sense for this month. Yeah. Right? You and next, next month I'm going to be like, get these off of my yeah. face. <laughs> right? Because you even texted me and you said new season or something. Did I? Yeah. Or new year or something. New year. New year. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe yeah. That's and that's I have been on that year. whole like, you It's know. a new year. Yeah. Ooh. Speaking of that. So I've been part of this like group. I've mentioned it on here before, but this lady has like a, every Wednesday she goes live Yeah. and I pay monthly. Okay. And I'm in this group. Well, I don't make it live. Like you can do recordings. It's just never the same. Yeah. But you, I haven't really made it on live because I work yeah. during the week. Right. And then since this new year and I'm like, no, you signed up for a reason. Do it. Live feels better. So I've just gone ahead in my nail book. And I'm like, scheduled it in like it's a nail client. 10 o'clock, this is the call. Yeah. Go from doing nails to doing this to going back to doing nails. It's like a client right there. So I've done the last two live. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I'm like, that's another thing where I'm like, no, do it. Like, no, right? And so I am kind of in that. Like, so hopefully, yeah. hopefully I don't let that slide. Like, there's going to be times where I'm like, oh, I can't fit my nail clients in somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's going to have to go. But my goal right now is go every week like it's an appointment yes. that I'm doing because a lot of like I have to, how many courses have I taken yeah. and all of them say that it's like yes you can watch the replays mm -hmm. but it's there's something about showing up for yourself when it's live yeah uh oh, oh okay <laughs> just one sec pause that thought okay ah. do we just keep going yeah yeah um okay <laughs> oops sorry um anyways uh yeah so they say show up <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, let me laugh this one off. <laughs> okay, um, they say show up live, and because it does like it means a little bit more. But my problem is, is I'm like you, I always choose work first, yeah. and it always like, even though showing up in those lives for me is part of my other career and business, there's something about oh no, this one's paying me money right yes. now, so I have to show up. One hundred percent. And when I was down and out for surgery, um, the manifestation girl that I've done, she did a little course and it was in December and it was like supposed to start your new, new year off. And I got to show up to all the lives and, and it felt so different. Good. It does. It, I feel like the energy feels different. I have watched some of the replays and I still feel like a real energy from this group. Yeah. But they have, what's that? Keep going. Um, they have like, did it stop? No, no. no. They Sorry. have uh, a chat where she'll she'll ask you something and you can type in the chat and then she'll read them out. So obviously if you get the recording, you're not part of being able to contribute. Yeah. Whereas if you're on the live, you can maybe say something and then she'll like, you know, put something back to you or whatever. So I think that's why I also want to go on live. She does a lot of like healing. Um, it's really helped me through like even watching recordings through that season I was going through of health and healing. She's all about, mm -hmm. actually this last class, this is so cool. She was talking about like blockages and being blocked and like chakras. Yeah. And I don't know a lot about chakras. Mm -hmm. We all see like the, the person there with like the dirt, I can't even tell you what they are, but like the different colors, yeah, like, yeah, right? Yeah. Like all your areas. Yeah. But this class, the, it's just so cool. Cause it's always, it's about stuff I'm really interested yeah. in. Right. But like, I don't, I didn't really know if I was in just interested in chakras. I've always just thought of it. Like, you know, you can get those bracelets, like balance yourself. Yeah. Right. Didn't really know a lot about it, but she started talking about it and talking about how different like chakras, you'll have different blockages, which we think emotionally and mind, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize physically embodied. Yeah. So she's like, hey, like say for, I think it's like solar plexus, somebody who knows, well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, We're in still this learning. area, like I'm going to learn, like yeah. I'm super hyped now, yeah. I want to know about chakras, but like, so it's say this area where like, I can always just feel a block. Right. I can, like, if you sit there and you think in your body, like I never put it to chakras, but it's like, it's like, there's something there. Like yeah. there's, you can feel things in your body. Yeah. Right. So anyways, that for instance, it was talking and it was talking the body parts 
that would be affected by that, but then the emotion, the whatever that would mm -hmm. be affected. And even just the body parts and how my body has been off, I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, and that's where I always feel. It's not a pit in my stomach, but I just always feel like, like there's no real movement. Yeah. Like that's where a lot of my issues kind of can be too, right? But hormonal, like mm -hmm. it's just so interesting. Yeah. So anyways, I didn't realize that like, an, oh, and adrenals were in there. And like, it was just like, uh, okay. Right? Yeah. Like it just, it made so much sense. But I never, I just always pictured like the beautiful girl with the chakras and I didn't quite knew it. I didn't yeah. know what it really meant, yeah. right? And I never knew it could affect your physical body. Like I always thought just those things are like floof, like yeah. river, yeah. right? And it's like, woo -hoo, I, woo -hoo. I don't know. They're just kind <laughs> of, yeah, they're, I don't know what else it came out, okay? I'm like, what blocked, is she trying I'm mostly blocked in that, that one too, but um, <laughs> No, it's like, I just always thought um, it was like all mind. Yeah. I didn't actually know your physical body and ailments could also be because of different areas that are blocked. Yeah. Like, I bet you if you went to the doctor, they'd be like, no. No, but that's like the, when yeah. you look at it as a whole, for sure. That's what I like about the spiritual side yeah. of things. And that is why I think I started diving so deep into that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it almost... Well, it excites me more yeah. than like, I know you geek out on your like books and stuff, but yeah. like for me personally, that kind of stuff, I like to geek out a little bit more than yeah. like. But funny because my books aren't all like medical. They're mm -hmm. like spiritual stuff too sometimes, oh, right? Okay, yeah. So I like to geek out and just read and like find yeah. a topic and then that's what I want to learn about. Yeah. But it can be anywhere from medical, but it could be something that like. See, and so medical, medical never did it for me, you know? It's still but... for me, it's still medical as in like medical medium. I find yeah. he's very spiritual. Yeah. He's like, listen to your body. Is that the kind of like need... green juice? Yeah. 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 So that's more the medical books that I actually uh, have yeah. are more like that. They're not like doctor yeah. medical. Oh, okay. Like our naturopath. Like I love yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah, so yeah, those yeah. are medical, but they're not like go to your doctor and get the same answer. Yeah. So it's always so indifferent. But no, but I love, I have, I like to geek out on things that are like, they're very spiritual too. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why this chakra thing yeah. is like, I'm like, why haven't I learned about this? But I guess it's just all part of that. And that's what these classes are. Yeah. Then every time we do one, it's like talking about something else. Like we've talked about angels. We've talked yeah. about different things and we've talked about that. Yeah. Right. It's just cool. Yeah, it is. And it's um, like now you're going to, because it's now you see, like you've acknowledged it. Now you're going to start seeing it everywhere yes. because you're like, oh, why have I never thought of it? Well, no one's yeah. ever brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and in it's that way, your attention. in yeah. that way, I've always just kind of looked at it as like, oh yeah, something that's like cute you wear or hang because it, right? Yeah, but not like actual, like the deep depth of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and then like the whole spiritual thing and numbers. We've talked about that. Yeah, but it's so funny because like my daughter, um, she's well. Apparently it's really hard and I'm trying to put into the universe that it's just gonna be good, mm -hmm. but she's going for her driver's license today. She uh, is? Yes, but apparently Are you going? no, her and Aaron have gone. Oh. Um apparently it is very hard to pass your first time now. Um a lot of people don't pass. Like even the driver instructor was like, it happens, but it's not like how when we were younger. They, they they fail you for like the smallest things. And yeah. I'm like, okay. So I'm trying in my mind to be like, it's okay if you don't pass, right? Like yeah. a lot of people don't pass. Yeah. But in the other sense, I'm like, universe, like let's do this. Yeah. Like you don't want to say that. Like you want to put it out there. But she says to me this morning before she was getting ready to go and she says to me, she's like, mom, I'm in scene 111, 1111, <laughs> Five, five, five. Like, she's telling me all this. She's like, since yesterday, I just can't stop seeing numbers. I'm like, you yeah. got this, you got this, right? But I was like, it's so cool that your daughters are learning that at such a young age because yeah. I feel like we didn't know all that we stuff when didn't. we were younger. But it was even like, we haven't talked about it in a long time, but she came to me with that. Yeah. So I was like, it's just in her mind, but it's not something we practice. Yeah. Right? So then I sat there and then I'm all like, you know, I always, I always address it as a whole and like whatever somebody believes in, but I'll be like, dear God, angels, guides, all of me, everyone, mm -hmm. all my team. I was like, please watch her today and help her. Like, you know, it's just so, like, 
10 years ago, I wouldn't be talking to anyone. Yeah. Whereas now I'm like, no, like whatever you believe. That's mm -hmm. why I say you can address it however your way is or what you want. But like universe, let's come together. Let's do this. But like she's seeing the numbers. I'm like, okay, I'm yeah. going to add to this. Right. Yeah. And whatever. If she doesn't, she goes again. Mm -hmm. You got to remember. Is this like the driving, driving one? So, so she gets she to drive by herself. L? Her end. Her no, end. Sorry, and, her end. Yeah. Um, so. And you gotta remember too, like we just had a moment the other day, like we had our big appointment with Vancouver Hospital yeah. for the girls. Um, and like my kids were, we were told like they probably would never get a driver's mm -hmm. license. So when she got her learners, that was huge. Yeah. So if this kid can get her actual license, like this is freaking versal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. And um, the other day when we had this big appointment, I got like goosebumps, but I also got like, like it's hesitant because we've been here before. Um, way back when my kids were young, they thought, because you can go through like childhood epilepsy and then it, it turns to adult once you get to a certain stage. So with my daughter in like childhood, when we got to a certain point, they took her off her meds because they were like, she could have outgrown it, right? right? And so we were so happy. We did the song and dance and like last pill and like so we had to wean off and she ran off and it was like, months later they were back and it was like okay nope like they're not gone right? right so this is why i'm like it's kind of bittersweet but in our appointment the other day they and then they told me once they turn adult like you never go back right oh. but i told you in this last couple of years our life has completely changed yeah. like ever since we moved and yeah. with the girls and whatever um the appointment the other day they just were like we want to try both the girls off meds and see we almost wow. think that something has happened their last scan which they've had a million scans their whole life yeah. the last scan that they have they hook like a bunch of wires on their head um it, it's not a hundred percent clear but it looks different than any other scan that wow. they've had and i'm like so my goosebumps yeah. right but i have that little hesitation of like i still can picture the picture of like Rihanna holding up her last pill, like this is my last pill ever. Yeah. And then it came back. So like right. I, I have some hesitance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Of in course. there. But at the same time, I was never supposed to get those words of like, my kids were never supposed to graduate. They were probably never gonna get their license or at least be older. They were gonna be on meds for the rest of their life. Uh there's a whole list of stuff. And in this last two years, um, since everything changed, we are like knocking those things. Like my daughter is on her path for normal graduation mm -hmm. right now. Like it's it's a fine yeah. line, but she's on there. Yeah. Um, she is driving, whether mm -hmm. we pass this today or not. Um, they might go off their meds. And I'm like, like, this is where I'm like, look back and like when you're in something so hard, even if you're told like something's not gonna be, like there may always be mm -hmm. something better on the other side. Yeah. And it just makes me think of how many times we doubt things and doubt ourselves and like do and like, because you don't think there's a way and then like life can change. Yeah. And I just cannot say anything other than this is very freaking universal. Yeah. Like, or what like, the heck? Or like, don't like when someone tells you something, yeah. it doesn't have to be that way. Right. Even yeah. if it's a freaking doctor. Yeah. Like sometimes I think we have these doctors on a pedestal, which of course yeah. we do, yeah. but then you didn't and your kids didn't, and I don't know how you guys separated it, but you guys didn't let what they had to say determine what yeah. she got out of it. And I I don't know how we separated it. It's more so my children. Like, my kids um, in their head, like, they're like, no, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Like, how they, how? I don't know. Yeah. Like, but there was just, there was a time where, no, right? I don't know. But it's just almost like this now. Like, Rana's like, I know. Like, yeah. I know. Like, she's like, she doesn't know if she's going to pass today. She hopes. She's a good little driver, by yeah. the way. But, like, she's just like, no, I Is she taking I, a I'm, test in the truck? No. Oh. She's in Nana's car because automatic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, our truck's a standard. And we just oh, didn't want to put that yeah, yeah. extra mm -hmm. pressure. Oh, God, I wouldn't right? either. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. So, okay, this is what I was going to say is, like, Erin's been taking her out practicing. And then we also have, like, a driver. We had did a few lessons. Yeah. That he's been taking her out. And he's telling her, like, they're driving around, like, the Walmart parking lot or whatever. And he's like, okay, pull front forward into that one. So, okay. And then they pull out. And then they're like, okay. He's like, back into that one. Okay, go over here and, like, parallel parking. And I was like, I don't think I'd pass. 
Dude, I'm like that. I just had that conversation <laughs> the other day. I'm like, if I, if I, like anyone at our age had to yeah. go back and take the driver's test, there is absolutely There's no, no way. way. There's no way. Because now we are in our habits yes. of driving. And even her, I was so glad we got a couple lessons. Cause like, even though she was a good little driver, as soon yeah. as she went with the lessons, the driving instructor was like, no, like you have to keep your steering, your hands on the steering wheel. The whole time you're turning, it can't come off. If it does, it's like for a quick second. She said, you took yours off for too long. I was like, what? I never have two hands on my, right? Yeah. Like even those. I did the things. same thing because the other thing too is the kids are learning from us or I yeah. learned from my parents, yes. but my parents now are set in their ways of driving yeah. and how do they know? So I did the same thing. I think I took like four lessons or something like yeah. that. Just, to kind just of... those little things that we wouldn't have caught. Yeah. Like it wasn't that she was a bad driver, but she would have failed yeah. because of those. Yeah. Right. There was one where like driving down the lane. I always say this to Aaron. It's so funny. He'll be driving and he hugs one side more than the other. He's still in his lane. So he's not doing anything like wrong, wrong yeah. but sometimes I'll be like, Oh, Hey, like, like hug her over here, right? Like I'll make a little comment. So it was so funny when Rihanna was in one of her lessons, the instructor was like, hey, okay, so your job is to like stay in the middle of the lane. Like you you kind of hang a little bit to the left. She's like, oh, my mom always says that to my dad. And then she turns her, she's like, I think your dad needs some driving lessons, right? <laughs> But like at the end of the day, he's always in his lane. He's a very good, safe driver. Yeah. But sometimes I'll say to him, I'm like, I just don't even understand. Like, why would you be in the middle of your lane? He's like, well, you don't have to be. And I'm like, but why aren't you in the middle yeah. of your lane? Like me, I'm almost like perfectly middle lane. Because like, why would, what? Right? I wonder if I am. Yeah, like you, probably people don't even realize. Like yeah. in the beginning, he's like, what? Like he didn't even realize that he yeah. did. He hugs one side more than the I other. I think I am because I'm always like, oh my God, I'm too close to that vehicle. <laughs> But things also changed a lot. Like I remember, oh, it's so embarrassing. Um, I used to drive a car and then I went to a truck mm -hmm. and I used to drive my boyfriend's dad's truck, but it was a Ford. And I found that like it would slant it down more. So my view is different. And then I wanted a GMC and the GMC, like the, Hi. like the front sits super high. Yeah. And I remember the first time driving. So when I test drive, when I we test drove it, I made my dad do it. I didn't do it. Cause the guy sits in the car with yeah. me, right? And this is awkward. And then, um, and then I had to drive it home after I bought it. And I was like driving so slow on my, on the bridge. My dad calls me. He's like, what are you, a grandma? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know where I am on the road because I wasn't used, used to, to like the, yeah. the view of the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it took me a while, but it's, it's so funny. funny. Yeah. And then, and then you just feel bigger and you don't want other, you don't want to, you know, be driving and then be driving into the Meridian or whatever. Right? Like, like, well, and then I was talking to a client cause I was like, you know, I never back in anywhere really. Like I back out of places, but I never really back in. So I was telling her how Rihanna was out doing that. Yeah. And then. She's like, oh no, I do that all the time because she has a bigger vehicle. Yeah. So she's like, I actually back into parking spots. Otherwise I can't see I can't, the front I can't where I'm going. I can't park anymore. I try, I try do you do to do back parking in, I like, have to. in like Superstore where yeah. it's all crowded? I have to. To me, that always gives me anxiety. But <laughs> when I had a car, yeah. I didn't know how to reverse for the life of me. Yeah. And then when I got a truck, it was like, it was non-optional almost because I couldn't you can't see because it's so big. Yeah. And I remember um, at the time my, my boyfriend's dad was trying to help me do it too. And he, he made me look at the backup camera, which is even worse. So you should have seen me. I was like all yeah. over the place trying to reverse. Now I've gotten it. And now I can barely like front stall. I think I drove my dad's van or something. And yeah. I was like, my mom's like, oh, just pull in here. And I was like, oh, I won't be able to reverse. And I was like, you don't need to reverse in the van. And I was yeah. like, oh yeah, right. Weird. So funny. Yeah. And that's another thing with the driving lessons. The instructor told um, Rihanna, when you're backing in, she's like, don't, like, I know that camera's there, but they do not, like, do all yeah. mirrors and whatever, you will, even if you park perfectly, if they see you look at that camera, you will fail. It's like, too bad yeah. you can almost, like, not turn that Honestly, off. the only thing that I need for the camera, because you do, the mirrors help you way more yeah. than the camera does, because the camera is like this, you're not yeah. really too, the only thing I use is so I'm not reversing into the guy behind me, yeah. is yeah. what it's there Exactly. For, not like, to... Look at the end to see how far you can go back, but she was like, don't be, you know. Yeah. But it's just so funny, because, like, when we got our licenses like this driving instructor actually gave me some lessons yeah she must have been really young because it's not like she's super old now but anyways um she gave me some and she's like it's not like when you guys went and it was like it, it's harder yeah so it's like oh okay like I know some people who have already failed two three mm -hmm. four times right I remember going and I was so anxious going in and I hate the feeling of like someone 
being able to control your future. Yeah. Like my hands is in that yeah. guy's future. Like, are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. Or the other yeah. one, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I remember being so nervous. And while the school zone, I made sure yeah. I went through. Oh, oh yeah. 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 You're like, I got a text from my text. Yeah, school zone, school zone. Um, but then a guy was reversing out of a spot and I didn't see him and I almost oh, hit him, no. but luckily the guy still passed me because I did everything else right. He's like well, it could have been the other guy's well, fault. Yeah, too. I just had a friend and they like she did the whole thing and they're like, You did really good, like you were so good, but you were a little too nervous. Yeah. And they failed her because they were like, You were a little too cautious, a little too nervous. Like you also have to make sure you're going like not you can't speed, but you also can't be under. But the you speed, know what? The, to, right? to me, that's so yeah. unfair. They're just so picky because now. of course they're nervous. You're yeah. sitting there yeah, judging right? their driving. You're yeah. you're in control if they get their license. I think that's so unfair. Yeah, I think you so got to give them a little bit of a window that yeah. of course they're anxious, of course they're nervous, and especially yeah. kids these days because I feel like there's so much more anxiety out yeah. there than there was even when I was growing up. And yeah. it's like, give them, a, you, you got to give them a break. I know, but that's why all these kids are failing. It's either that or a freaking money grab so they can get it more and more, right? That too. Right? That if you too. wonder, because I was like, I've only known out of everyone I've talked to in this last while, I've only heard of like a couple of people passing the first time. And I'm like, wow. what? What? That's right? Insane. It's just crazy. Yeah. But anyways. Did she pass her written test the first, first time? First time, first go. But she's really good at like, I don't know. This is why I think she could also do good today because she's very organized and very like, this is what you do and put your mind to it. Like she is nervous, but she's also very can like, I don't know, somehow yeah. she can go somewhere. Right. Yeah. And so I'm hoping she goes to that place today. But even the instructor told her, they, she said, um, picture the guy or girl, whoever's your person, picture them as like just a little kid. Like, don't look at them as, like, a big, intimidating... Like, you know yeah. what they say? You go do speaking. You're yeah, you're just audience, like, naked or whatever. <laughs> Same kind of thing, but, like, don't picture mm -hmm. them as this, like, personal, like, whatever with their clipboard and being, yeah. like... Picture them as just some kid that you're having to get to uh, play safely. And I'm See, like, yeah. that's good. Okay. Okay, that is... But sometimes I feel like I really struggle with picturing stuff like that. Like, yeah. I never understood how people can just stand there and picture everyone naked. Yeah. yeah I don't right? that. Or Why like, would we want yeah. to? Yeah. <laughs> vision things very well yeah. or something but even to me for that I'm like no but it's a big scary man sitting there right? like how am I supposed to picture that being yeah know, but, but like to think back like oh my gosh like I said to her I was like you in this moment can do though I have not parallel parked I can't even remember the last time I parallel parked I go to West Bank, I go to Kelowna, but there's always parking spots. Like, yeah. I'm not going somewhere where I have to parallel park. Oh, God, no. I haven't done that forever. I was like, my child can now do more than me. Yeah. I mean, I built to do it, like, I passed it and I did it way back, but it's been so long. Like, would that come back, like, riding a bike, or would that be like, nope, you can't do it? Or when someone's like, coming up behind you, and then you have to parallel park, oh, I, I as that. an adult, I'd sit there, and I'd be really anxious. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how give I give her like if she, if she can do this, I give her freaking props. Um, I went to parallel park the other day outside my cousin's house and I'm like on the phone with her and she's like, Okay, turn, turn and I was like, but the vehicle's so big that I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna hit something or I'm gonna and I needed her to like stand outside, be on the phone with me and be like, Okay, now turn it to the right. Oh, <laughs> it to the that would be so weird too. She actually got to do like backwards of like yeah. telling, right? Yeah. It's yeah. strange. I don't know. You know, way back I had a client who said to me, she's like make sure you learn it was really sad she's like make sure you learn all the things because her husband had passed away yeah. and they had this life of like camping like with their kids camping side by side like our life mm -hmm. right that's what we do and um i remember being like i should learn that but i haven't mm -hmm. like she learned to like back in a trailer yeah i wouldn't build a freaking you know how trailers like they go one way when you go the other like it's like you have to think opposite too yeah like so um i would not be able to take my kids on all the same things mm -hmm. like maybe you would learn then yeah but i just remember her saying like how important it is to learn all those things because in case anything happened, you don't want your lifestyle to change. Yeah. My lifestyle would change. Yeah. <laughs> it just yeah. would. I'd be like, um, excuse me, can you take my trailer to here and drive off? <laughs> right? Like, I don't know, but it's true. Yeah. And I think it's like we've been together for a really long time. So Erin and I have our roles. Like, when we go somewhere, like, I drive, I do things. But when we're together in a car, he drives. Mm -hmm. We go to Vancouver for the girls' appointments. He drives. Like, when I was younger, I used to go to Vancouver all the time. Yeah. Now, I haven't driven in like the city of Vancouver where it's crazy yeah. 
for a really long time, mm -hmm. right? Like it is funny how we get very dependent yes. on who you're with. But I can see the other side of that too, because quite honestly, something that I'm dealing with in my relationship is I know how to do everything. So I do everything on my own and then I don't give him like, he, you almost have to give them something so they, they have, have a it. purpose yeah. or that they feel. And maybe because like we're 20 years in, we just kind of like, uh, yeah, it's had probably, those roles, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Probably in the beginning. Cause well, I was very like independent yeah. when, even though we were young, yeah. I'd be like, ah, oh, I feel like going shopping in Vancouver today. We did do like a road trip with the yeah. girlfriends or whatever. I would never do that now. Yeah. But like, I guess over time, I guess we let those little things go. Yeah, and maybe that's because true. they, maybe because we get used to that role, but maybe because mm -hmm. you start giving away some of that so that that's their role. Like yeah. I wonder, I wonder yeah. where that starts. Cause you're in the stage of like, we're still you're still in that, new. you're very dependent, yeah. right? So I wonder when that changes. Yeah. Because like now I'm like, oh my gosh. I honestly don't laugh, but I can't even remember the last time I got gas in my car. Get out. But serious. But you know what's so funny? My mom's the same way too. My dad always does it for her. Yeah. And my aunt's the same way. Yeah. She's like, I haven't filled up my vehicle since I got married. And I'm like, are you freaking yeah. kidding? But here's the thing. Like we, we I don't drive a ton because I work at home. Right. And like. I used to have to always take my kids to school, but now yeah. one takes the bus and the other one walks because we live close to school now, yeah. right? But I used to have to daily, so then then I'd be like, oh shit, I gotta go get gas because I need gas. It was my car that I drove all yeah. the time. But then um, when we had, so now we're down to one vehicle because I work at home and I'm always home and he's home before I'm done work, mm -hmm. right? So I can just take the vehicle. But even when we had to, on the weekend, we would always take our SUV. We wouldn't take his truck. Yeah. So we'd be out and about on a weekend and we'd stop and get gas. He'd be driving. Yeah. Right? Whereas now that we have one vehicle and I'll take it at times, but he always just kind of has gas Maybe in it. Maybe that's just like part of a marriage. Maybe. It's like, it's I don't like know when it started. Like some, like not just the gas thing, yeah. but like when you become one and get married, maybe that's when roles because you can't do it all you're in a burnout yeah. yeah so then that's when the roles start to come into play and maybe like i did all the stuff with the children and the illness and the doctors and the appointments and maybe that was just like one more thing i'm like you 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 make sure yeah. there's gas in the car yeah. i don't know i can't remember like, yeah it's been it's been a it's long been so time long. Hmm. um but interesting enough like it's not funny yeah. how our roles go like that yeah like thinking of it now i'm like like I forgot, I hadn't really thought of it until we were just talking to my phone. I don't even back. I don't remember what that gas Aaron, was. Aaron probably likes being the man yeah. and being able to do the trailer and get the gas yes. and stuff like yeah. that, right? Like it gives him his importance and his. And masculine. I was gonna say it's almost like his little love language too, because yeah. he likes to do because like then he knows like he'd be like he'd be like he um he did like oh I went and did this so I went like it probably started that way is like oh right yeah and for me honestly like when we're sitting I will like do the online grocery order lots of time he picks it up and yeah. then I put it away like we even have yeah. things. I'd rather like I'm a homebody and when I go out I'm like going out with a purpose to go do something yeah. like I want to go sit and do like if that's the little thing he can take off my list yeah. same with he drives my daughter to work a lot mm -hmm. right well, usually I'm at home working yeah. or I'm just finishing work, whatever, like he, he goes and does it. So it's like, it's just a thing where you pick yeah. these things that are, I'd rather be doing my stuff at home than having to now go yeah. out. Right? Yeah. Whereas him, and he, he doesn't want to clean out. the kitchen. He wants to, he's like, I'll go pick her up. Like it's yeah. almost like that too. You yeah. start this little, like each, he would prefer to do all that, but yeah. I prefer to do all this. So it works. But That's like, so nice. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's kind of funny because when I think about it, I was like, uh, I haven't parallel parked forever. I haven't backed into a parking swell. I haven't even gotten gas. Like, what? Yeah. Right? Like, I do all the other stuff, like the insurance and like, you know, even for him, he forgot. So this is the first year that the insurance just is in his name because yeah. we have the one vehicle. He freaking, all of a sudden I said to him, I was like, did you get your insurance last month? He's like, what? Oh, he drove around for a whole month without him. I've done that. I've Have done you? that. Oh my dad was so mad at me. I was like, you didn't even think of it. He's like, nope, because I always yeah. just did. So there's times where like I've always just done all that. Yeah. So he didn't really know, and I'm like, oh geez, so you can be so dependent that you don't yes. be around. Because I was like, you didn't even think about insurance. 
Like it didn't even cross your mind. He's like, didn't even cross my mind. Mm -hmm. He's like, I would have driven all year. Yeah. Like if you didn't like say something, he's like, I would have never thought of it. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> but it's like, we're so, so he's so dependent on me yeah. for some things too. Which makes you feel good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's, but it's, it's, it's way to, yeah, yeah, there's like both sides of it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But like, oh. when do we lose that independence? Like, you know, or when And is it losing independence or, or is it gaining something? Yeah, I don't know what right? the word would be. Yeah. But I just remember, don't you remember being so excited? Like, I remember when I had my license, I freaking love to drive. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to go to Penticton today. I'm going to go here today. I'm just going to drive all the way there to go do this. Now I'm like, I don't want to go to West Bank. Mm -hmm. How do I not go to West Bank? Like, yeah. right? I love driving, but I love like when I can, like if you send me to Penticton, sweet. I'll grab a coffee, I'll yeah. listen to my music and I'll yeah. go for a drive. Yeah. But having to go into town, oh yeah. my gosh, I'm the same way. I'm like, oh God, can we just do it all at once so I don't have to leave? But yeah. I'm also, the older I'm getting, the more I'm loving being at home and I'm becoming more of a homebody, so. I was talking the other day about like, I was like, do I become a Costco person again? Cause we haven't done Costco forever. Yeah. And I'm like, no, like part of me is like, yeah, cause there's so many things I want to buy and there's this and that. And like, you know, like that mom and me or like that, like whatever, have things for my yeah. house. Cause there's a lot of good things there. But then the other person is me is like, A, I have to go to Kelowna. I don't mm -hmm. want to go to Kelowna. B, I had to go into a really busy store and there's people everywhere. It's two people. I had myself like already convinced not yeah. to in like a matter of moments. Yeah. But it was just like back in the day, I had a Costco card for 10 friggin' years because I would drive all the way out and it didn't seem like a big deal to go do it. Mm -hmm. Now that seems like a project. Oh like, is gosh, that just me yeah. getting older? You no, know, I honestly, I, I don't know what it is either, but um, I went into Costco, I think it was like the last like two times. And like my... I don't, I don't know if it's anxiety or anxiousness. I'm not really too sure because I've never really dealt with this. Yeah. It like, I'm just like, get me the freaking out of here. And everyone's yeah. running into you and everyone's just like in their own world and don't, yeah. doesn't care if they cut you off or if they're yeah. standing in the Stopped way. And I'm like, the I'm like, everyone's just rude. Like, get me out of here. Like, totally. But it's like, like it's so interesting because when, yeah. But like, I hate grocery shopping. Yeah, anyways. yeah. But when do we change? And, and the big thing is like, what things so for me i'm thinking right now like what things do i want to go back to because you can get so comfortable being mm -hmm. at home that you forget to like go do the I things know. right so there's part of me where there's things i want to go do yeah there's I, things i want to get out of my comfort zone and go do yeah but then there's part of me where i think it's such growth that i don't have to be over here doing all that shit on my mm -hmm. own or doing all those things because you're supposed to yeah right so like i see this two ways but there is part of me of like whoa okay like i should uh i should get out a little mm -hmm. more like put yourself back to that teenager yeah. who's about to go get their license today and just be like what would they do oh they are gonna want to explore the world and go everywhere so like for me i'm thinking okay i don't want to go explore the world and be everywhere but i I, it makes me think back to that time yeah. and be like, whoa, I was way more free then. Yeah. Right? Yep. Like before life happened. Yeah. Before life happened. Because mm -hmm. life has freaking happened. <laughs> right? <laughs> and maybe that's it. So then you just kind of like go more and more. But I love my little recluse little I life know. too. It makes me happy. And like even yeah. like yesterday, like um, I haven't just like let myself like sit and watch TV for a while. And last night... I was kind of hungry, but not kind of hungry. So we put some like French fries in the air fryer and we sat down and watched Desperate Housewives. And I was like, man, I feel like I'm living the dream right now yeah. because I'm having an evening where I'm in the house. I have my hot cocoa. I have my little French fries. Like it was just so, it's just such a good feeling. Yeah. Which maybe back in the day I would have been like, oh, this is a boring evening. Yeah. But where I'm like, oh, I, but then there is the separating to get out and I don't know. Yeah, no, but there's, cause I, that is so true. Back in the day, I'd be like, I felt like I was missing out all the time. Yeah. And I felt like if we were just staying home and having a chill night, I was like, oh, we're so boring. What are we doing? Yeah. But then it's like, so is it that we get to a point that we actually start listening to what feels mm -hmm. good and what we want? And like before it's like somebody else's voice in our head, yes. you're supposed to go out. Oh, Aaron and Shaylee just sit home all the time. They're so lame. Like they're not fun anymore. That's what would go through my mind. Yes. It's like other people's opinions yeah. on what we were doing or who we were, yeah. right? I think I lived a lot of my life having other people's opinions yes. in my head. And that's and not it, my own. right? Yeah. Like, so there's that excitement of like going driving because you want to, but there's this whole part of like, what are you doing? I think there's a few lines in there. Like, what were you doing because everyone else thought you yeah. should, right? So yeah. that's interesting to me, but it makes mm -hmm. me think like all these things. I get excited by like, 
doing this online course yeah. or class thing. I mean, I those are the things now. And I think it's just we're so in tune with who we are, yeah. right? And I think everyone grows at different times. We got married young and together young, so we settled down way young or like way younger than other people. So I think I always felt like a little bit of me was like I was supposed to be doing this because everyone else was. Where I so there was a line for a while where I didn't know what life I was fitting in. So then when I finally got where like I love being home, I love just sitting and doing the movie, I love doing this class, I love just tinkering. It was like this real alignment for me of like, yes. this is who I am. This is who I'm allowed to be. This is who, what I want to be. Yeah. Right. I and agree. so it's more alignment. Yeah. And back then, yeah, I think I did more just because my friends were in a different stage too. And I always were like, oh, they're going to stop inviting us because we don't mm -hmm. go. Oh, they're going to, and you right. Yeah. Whereas now all my friends are kind of like in younger kid stages and they're all home all the time. And yeah. so we match now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was almost like when I turned 30, I think I said that to you. Everyone's like, oh my God, turning 30. And I was like, yay, I'm finally 30. Because we were had a house young, married young, kids young, and everyone would always question me like, oh, you're already married, you already have kids, you already have a house. Once I was 30, I'm like, I'm allowed to be married, to have kids and have a house. Yeah. It felt more, not that you weren't allowed, but you know what I mean? It felt more that no one started questioning me anymore. And you know, that's right? so funny that you have that view because I talk to so many people, not so many people, yeah. but that aren't quite there yet. And we are just in the beginning of our 30s. Yeah. And they're like, why don't I have this yet? Why don't I have yeah. this yet? Where you were so worried that people thought you, you were too young. Yeah. But I have people that are in like just about to turn 30 or just 30 where they're like, why do I not have kids? Why have I not met my man? Why am I not married yet? Like I should have a house by now. So it's, it's it, it, it is literally yeah. just a belief. It's the yeah. belief that it's you a belief have. That, and, and people would question me, whoa, or they'd be like, whoa, you already have that? Like, right? Whereas once I feel like I turned 30, like no one, they're like, oh, oh good. You're on a good path. Yeah. What? Yeah. Right? Let's, let's, let's just right now though, my child turned 17 the other week. That's why she's going for a license. <laughs> How am I old enough to have a 17 year old? You know what? That's so funny. How old are you? 41. Okay, that's what I thought. Because someone asked me the other day, and my cousin was like, How old is she? And I was like, Man, like, I don't even really know because I just kind of think you're my age. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. That's why I got bangs so it can cover yeah. my wrinkles so I can be closer to your age. Oh my gosh, please. I My wrinkles <laughs> on my forehead came so early. I'm like, this let's, is unfair. Let's cover it up. Next you'll know I'll have my bangs grown out to yeah. be here and I'll be wearing them to my chin. You'll just open the <laughs> yeah. door every time you want to talk. Yeah, I don't want to do Botox and all this stuff so I just have to keep getting my hair longer yeah. before I have to cover me I up. I tried Botox, <laughs> man. And you know what? I got so sick. I think I did it three times. I don't know if I've talked about that before. No. But I tried it because I feel like my forehead is like super, like it's just like very yeah. like the. I'm very like that's how yeah. we talk. That's yeah. how we talk. That's how we talk. We talk with our face. face. Yeah. So I went and got Botox and I got sick, but I was like, oh, it's just the flu the next day. And then I got it done again and I got sick again. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to go do it one more time. And if I get sick, and every freaking time I thought I had the flu after. Because it just made me so sick. Well, it's something else your body has to like process, mm -hmm. right? And I've never, I've always been scared to put, well, I'm scared to put anything in my body yeah. now after all I don't, stuff. I don't, I don't yeah. think we are the type of no. people that can have those chemicals no. in your body. And no. which is kind of funny because I didn't really think about it beforehand, but I can't be on the pill. Yes, like, neither can I. Yeah, like yeah. I can't be, like I can't take anything stronger than a ty yeah. Tylenol or Advil. Like. Yeah. Just all that stuff. And I think that's kind of why alcohol makes me go a little bit like why yeah. my hangovers are so bad too. Is my body just doesn't like body just kind of can't process. It's too much, yeah. right? And, yeah. then, and then yet there can be someone else who can do all the things and they're fine. There's people right? that get big boobs, do yeah. do Botox, get fillers. Drink and it's a like, ton, do drugs, yeah. do all these things and they're doing better. Eat as much fast food, whatever they want. And they just seem to be okay. Yeah. I'm like, what is yeah. happening? Luckily. I never, like in high school or anything, drugs were just not my yeah. thing. And I'm so grateful for that because I cannot imagine how my body would have handled yeah. that. Well, all. not well, right? And I think that's all part of like, there's a reason I've never tried mm -hmm. drugs. I think, I mean, I tried pot when I was younger, but that yeah. is it. And there's a reason, <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I never did because A, look at all the shit that we went through in life. Um, everyone goes through stuff, but I'm just saying, I'm just talking about this right now. Like I 100% would have even just pills or something. I could just see 
that could have helped me through so much. Mm -hmm. Like, not helped me, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. could have become a crutch through all that crap going yeah. through. So, like, th I, I, I think to myself, thank goodness I never went there because, like, there was some years where I think I was looking for, I would mm -hmm. want some sort of crutch to, like, make me feel okay for a minute. Yeah. So I'm glad I didn't have anything in my back pocket yeah. that I knew that could make me feel okay yeah. in those moments, right? See, and I think that's, I think I turned to liquor in those moments yeah. and I feel like that's why I have like I had to quit because yeah. I feel like I used it as my crutch and now I do not have a good relationship with alcohol and even though I would love to be the person that's allowed a glass of wine here or sit here yeah. and have wine with you yeah. it's like I almost kind of ruined it for myself I think yeah because but, I did use it as that but again everything happens for a reason and True. got you to where you were yeah like our our and all of that and like your growth since you stopped drinking and and again it's not like you were some crazy drinker drunk like no I didn't drink seven people, days a week no like but some people when I like drink. oh like did she drink a lot it's yeah. when you drank yeah. it's not that it controlled your whole life no. right but you knew in those moments it was controlling those moments but then also what you probably didn't realize until now is like the amount you've accomplished in this last year mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't have if you no. kept having those moments of drinking, mm -hmm. right? Well, because like, my hangovers were yeah. five to six days. Yeah. Like, and when you were talking earlier before we came on the podcast and you're like, oh yeah, like I've, oh, I can count like as many times as that maybe I've gotten out of hand with liquor. I'm thinking, man, I wish. Yeah. Like it was every time I drank there that yeah. it's like I couldn't remember. I, I had some things that had happened in my life that I think from a young age, I was like, I didn't, I like to have some drinks and get like mm. a little bit, like, I just like that, like relax my shoulders. Yes, come down. I love that feeling. I love that. Like, just like turn this off but a little. The buzz. I like the buzz. The I don't buzz. like the drunk. I like yeah. the buzz and like the chill feel yeah. good. Like, so I'm very controlled with alcohol in the fact of like, I don't like that out of control feeling. Yeah. Right. So I will like where most people start drinking faster. Yeah. I like actually, as I feel that I like actually back down and start not drinking as much. Mm -hmm. like, I got start out stronger and then like back down yeah right? um and so but there, I have had some moments where I was out of control and things did happen that I was just like nope rain that in so that's why I can count like on mm -hmm. my hands like how many times I can I can tell the exact moments where I went a little bit over yeah and I felt really crappy doing it because it was like a feeling of like I lost control in that moment yeah. and and each time I had lost a little bit of control something bad did happen in those moments yeah. so then that just made me feel so bad for so long like so guilty so like no I could never be See, like, and I would have that feeling I would wake yeah. up the next morning and be like oh my god did I literally just do that you feel like shit about yourself you like you, you don't want to get out of bed. You hope that someone else embarrasses themselves next week yeah. and no one remembers what you did. But yet, I still couldn't still turn it. the switch off. Ah, see? That's just like a whole other... You have come so far. Yeah. And you feel so good. I and, don't. and you know, like maybe one day you will be able to be a person that has a glass of wine. Or maybe one day you'll just never even think about it mm -hmm. if you don't want to. Yeah. Right? Like you do so well. Yeah. So why? Why even? Like it's maybe, a toxin at the end of the day. Yeah. Right? Maybe, like maybe there will be one day yeah. where life is just different. Yeah. But for now, it just doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't serve fit. you. No. 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 And I don't. And for myself, like I like to have some wine. I mm -hmm. like to stay controlled in that moment. I don't, it's very rare that I would ever during the week, like ever, it would be like, oh, once on a weekend. Mm -hmm. um, there's times where I'll be like three months and I won't have any. See, then there's I times, wish I was like yeah. that so much. Then there's times like in the summer, I feel like it happens a little yeah. more, like a couple little drinks here and there. But again, I have always been able to like get up the next morning, do my workout, like yeah. go on with life, like because I cut myself off. Yeah, right? you do, you're really I cut, good. Yeah, I cut off. And I'm not saying like there's nights where I'm like, oh, I'm tired and I go to bed and like I'm like feeling a little yeah. tipsy, but I'm talking like I, it's still like a controlled, but I yeah. like to also be at like in a controlled environment yes, at too, home. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's so interesting how life unfolds mm -hmm. and how different it could have been in slight moments. Like had when we were younger like say Aaron and I weren't together we didn't have this long life together where we became dependent on each other and all these things it could have been like one thing where I met someone else and I drank more yeah because like I know or I could have tried to drive like who knows yeah. Yeah. right like everything happens mm -hmm. and it just unravels but it's interesting because life can change by each little 
this issue I know, too. I know. That right? gets in my head. So, uh, I could yeah. go on about that's that That's like a whole other topic. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is getting long, yeah. but we could wrap this up. But that yeah. we should talk one day yeah. about some of that because like it's just interesting how the slightest little thing could like you know change and, and, it all. And then does it change it all or do you somehow end up in the same spot? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. But just with a different story. Yeah. Woo! There's the like go back to the bed and things. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Just gotta throw a geek. I just got throw a geeky <laughs> moment in. Okay. We will talk to you next week. Yeah, talk to you guys okay. later. Okay, bye. Bye.